For days, we have only referred to him as a TTC employee who committed a heroic act, but his name is J.P. Attar. The station collector says he noticed the man enter the gates Wednesday morning and walk immediately on to the northbound subway tracks. Then the 55-year-old approached the man, hugging and consoling him. And I said to him, I'm going to be your friend. I'm going to be your mentor. It's going to be okay. That was City News reporter Faiza Min with the incredible act of heroism from this TTC employee, J.P. Attard, joining us this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you all for having me here. Thank you all. And uh, I, what you're going to notice about J.P. is you're a very passionate individual. Um, you. And, and you are someone who is more empathic, I, I think, than, than reactionary. Thank you. Uh, so tell us what happened what time of day was it? What was it like? How did it all transpire? Well, this is not the first time that I've stopped somebody from committing suicide. It's happened two or three times that the media hasn't known. What happened, I was at Dundas, I think it was the 26th of April, and I was just talking to a co-worker of mine, Jander, about customer service. Well, within three seconds, we just seen this guy walk onto platform level. I noticed he had a bracelet on, which is, um, I can tell, bracelet. yes. Yeah. So I just said to my partner, Jimmy favorite, call transit control and I will do the rest. Call cut the power. So by the time this happened, within three seconds when the power was cut, I sat down on a platform and I said to him, Are you having a bad day? He says, Yeah, he goes, I want to hurt myself. I said, Are you having girlfriend problems? He says, Yeah. I said, You know what? Nobody's worth dying for. I says, Can I give you a hug? And he came over. He was shaken like a cat near water. So right away I just gave him a hug and he was just shaking and shaking, and I, I didn't want to go, I didn't want to see him go into a state of shock. So what I had to do, I had to put my mind and do my magic for him. And I told him, while I was holding him, I didn't know cameras were running, I told him that I was going to be his garden angel. While I was there, I was whispering positive things in his head. I will be there for you. I love you. It's okay. He was shaking like a cat, shaking like a cat. So then what I did, after he started to calm down, I started talking about music, hip hop. He dug my groove, the whole nine yards. I can see his eye start to light up. I start to see a twinkle that, hey, something's good happening. Then I got him to do some deep breathing. Got him to do some deep breathing for about two, three minutes. Um, after the deep breathing, I can see the glowing energy in his eyes. I thought, hey, this guy's coming alive. I didn't want him going to state of shock. He was like a, a teenager. So then I looked at him, and I put my hands in his head, and I said to him, I am JP, I am your mentor. I'm gonna take negative into positive, and I'm gonna change your world. The count of three, I looked at him, I went, I will be strong. He repeated those words. I said again, with feelings, I will be strong. Again, so he did not, and then I just went to the crowd, and I did, if I can get attention people, my friend here needs some help, he needs some love, these people are your family, they're not there to hurt you. The count of three, I want to do the same thing. Northbound platform, one, two, three. I snapped. They repeated, they chanted, I will be strong. Repeated three times. Northbound people, if we can all get some help here for our family member that needs some help, the count of three, I will be strong. And I snapped and this went on for I don't know how long, 15, 20 so minutes, it, whatever. So it takes a village. Yeah, so I'm just basically, it's like a church ceremony getting it under my hands. And I ain't no hero. The people there were the hero. My one, local 113 members are the heroes. I ain't no hero. I'm just a huge man with a great personality. And when I put on the uniform, TTC stands for Take Total Control. Like I said, this is for to make the world aware of mental illness. You were his guardian angel that day, that's for sure. And here we are, Mental Awareness Health Week. We actually have had this number up the yeah. entire time. If you feel that you are desperate and you have nowhere to go and you're having those really dark thoughts, that happens to everybody at some point in their life, just tell somebody. We also have, a, we also have another board as well, just that it relates directly to the TDC and subways. Uh, two things that you need to know uh, in, in every subway station, when you go to the, the designated waiting area, uh, you will see a patient Phone. And on that payphone will be a button, mm. and it is uh, it, it is a crisis link. You push that button. You don't have to put a quarter. Or I don't even know what a payphone goes for these days. You just push that button, and immediately you'll be talking to someone and say, hey, "What's the matter?" And then you can say, "You know what? I feel like hurting myself." And so someone who hopefully is as engaging as JP will be answering as well. This is an, if someone you've seen someone jump on the tracks at either end of the platform. There's a power cut box, and it's a it's a it's a blue light over it. 
don't fool around with these boxes. I mean, you only do that if someone's jumped onto the platform uh, that you know they're going to jump on the platform. That cuts power for quite a distance. So if you do it, you're going to turn the subway off, but you may save a life doing it. But JP, thank, thank goodness thank you, so you were there and you're an inspiration. Thank you all for having me. Like I said, we need to become one, and you guys are all my family. Thank you. You guys have always been a mentor. Thank you all. All right.